we are with elephants in the water at Chitwood Dam. We're not driving around anywhere at the moment. We are with four bulls, which are proving to be putting on a show for us this afternoon, which is quite nice. We have arrived at Chitwood Dam in the end. I think as these elephants were making their way down to the water, the guide got their guests back in the car, which actually worked out perfect for us, which is really cool to watch these bulls play around. Now, this is a common sighting that you get to see almost every single day, and if not five times over when you're in Zambia. And elephants spend so much time in the water, and I promise you right now, you'll never see elephants as happy as the ones that spend their days splashing about just like this lot look at them i'm actually going to just sit quietly just for a moment so you can all take it in listen to the sounds that are also coming from these elephants Well, I could sit here quietly the entire time and not say a word and if I was guiding guests I wouldn't say one word we'd honestly just sit here for as long as they played about in the water but of course you can have little breaks every now and then how's that sound as their tusks clash now this is not a serious fight even this morning when you were with Tristan you watch some young bull spar that's exactly what's going on over here and I don't think the two big elephant bulls would go into the water to have a fight they would normally do that out on land look at this other one on the right hand side just coming in now look at this one so we can actually see how deep it is too what are you standing on is that to the start of the island possibly Roshni you said that they're having such a good time they are indeed I love absolutely love seeing this it is so incredible Oh my goodness, look at the elephant is on his knees. I, I, I don't know where to look. I really, really, really don't know where to stare because there is so much action going on. But these two boys are having the greatest time of their lives, completely submerging themselves underneath the water. I have not had a sighting of elephants in the water for a, for a few weeks now, so I'm very happy. Of course, elephants are my favorite animal. There we go, challenging each other on the island now. Ooh, now it's getting a bit rough. The one on top has definitely got the upper hand. Tom, you said that these are such special animals. They are indeed. You can easily see why they are my favorite animal in the whole wide world. Look at the sheer power. Oh my goodness, this one's being almost pushed off of its feet. Wow. Look at that. Now you see they're even tumbling down every now and then. Obviously the ground is unlevel. Perhaps there are some big fallen trees that we just cannot see. Every now and then they do trip. But the one on the right has definitely become submissive. Oh, Hummercorp, that little bird. You better get out of the way. And Blacksmith Lapwing. No, I don't think the Blacksmith Lapwings are going to win with these elephants. They won't be bothered by them at all. They can mob them as much as they like and make as much noise it's not going to chase them away they're probably fearing for their lives that a tsunami is going to to wash away maybe if they have a nest they wash away their eggs that's probably why they are panicking so much isn't that great an elephant swimming battle on a friday afternoon in the golden light now you can see that bull is trying to mount the other one and that's that's quite typical he's not trying to mate with them at all it's normally a dominance display you see it in dogs all the time in fact, they are just having the greatest time ever. This is so stunning. I actually, I don't really have any words to describe this, how fantastic this is. And I hope you're taking lots of screenshots too. Remember, pop these in the old photo album, hashtag Safari Live, share them with us. Or if you have any questions, you can also send them through the same way by hashtagging Safari Live. Now, I think we've been very fortunate we've had some amazing sightings over the last few days and I haven't done a one-word tweet for quite some time so I think send in 
one word that you would use to describe the sighting, like I said, hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. I'm going to think of mine, and while I think, I'm just going to sit very quietly so you can watch these elephants splash about again. That was a synchronized dive there. Did you see that? They did that perfectly. Their trunks are just out the top of the water too. I actually can't think of a word. Can you believe it? Magnificent would probably be the word that I would use to describe the sighting. There's all sorts of action going. There's another elephant now that was dropping bombs, which was quite funny to actually see. Never did I think an elephant as it defecated in the water. I, I was thinking about the splash that that dung actually make. It was impressive, but of course that's where my mind wanders. What did you just drop now? Oh no, there's some floating dung going past it. Standing his ground, protecting the island. <laughs> Those two are just having the greatest time, aren't they? You tell me that you don't think these elephants are happy. Now there's a couple of you who are sending in your one word tweets and from Dina, you've described the sighting as joyful. It is. It's hard not to look at this and smile or laugh. Hopefully your cheeks are getting just as sore as mine are. But this is so cool. Now, they don't seem to be drinking any water just yet. They really are just splashing about and playing and enjoying themselves. <laughs> Sticking its tusks in the mud, not ticks, sticking its tusks, sorry, in the mud. Look there, they could just see them covered. I'm surprised they're not sinking into the mud. Now, Shelly's love, Shelly loves Ellie's. You said you wanted to find elephants earlier. Well, here we are. Here, here they are. And you have also given us a one word tweet, and that was perfection. That's a good way to describe it. I think everything in nature is just so perfect. Those two have seemed to have settled down slightly. Poor Vlad and Boris and the hippos are probably not enjoying the hippos splashing about today. They'd be disturbing them. And another one word tweet. This one's from Karen. You've said heartwarming. That's also a really good one to describe everything that's going on. There's definitely a sense of peace at Chitwa Dam this afternoon and even though they're pushing and shoving each other around it is just so lovely and the hippos are going to start making a bit of noise too you can't see him but I'm watching the big territorial bull he's watching over across at those elephants and making sure that they don't come any closer otherwise he's going to be very upset with them this is so cool now we can really see how deep the water is underneath Gecko, you've said elephantastic. That's a brilliant way to describe this, of course. Nice play on words there. Look at those long eyelashes. Oh, this must be so refreshing. This is so lovely. It really doesn't get any better than this. Picking up mud and all sorts of things as it goes under the water and splashing back down again. This one's got a little bit of work to you to do in my opinion it's not as graceful as the other two bulls perhaps it's a beginner synchronized swimmer still got a lot to learn by the looks of it <laughs> I see the blacksmith lapwing have given up now on shouting at the elephants no Alyssa you're wondering how frequently do elephants take baths well it depends on the circumstance, of course it depends on the weather, but they don't bath to get clean like you and I would. They bath for a completely different reason. They're bathing now on this water and they're swimming. They're using it to get nice and cool. Like I said, they're so happy in the water and I'm sure it must be quite nice to also not feel so heavy. Of course, buoyancy elephants have got buoyancy too. And I'm sure they enjoy swimming about. Um, so it depends. In summer we actually see them in the water and swimming around quite often. In fact, this time of the year when it's a little bit cooler, it's not as often. We see them having mud baths though, but that's to try and stop the parasites. The parasites from living on their bodies. My goodness, there's hippos snorting left, right and centre. 
Well, we'll sit here for a little bit longer. I might see if I can reposition just slightly so we can get the hippos in view too and watch their reaction. But Tundi seems to be waking up now.